Hi Capricorn. It's Elle here to do your September mid monthly reading. You are the last sign for the mid monthly. I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. Thank you for being here. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe. Go ahead and do so. Make sure you're commenting below. All right, so let's get into it. All right, Nine of Cups. We do a five card advice spread. That's you right where you are. You're getting wish fulfillment, whatever that may be. Your obstacle is has something to do with waiting what you're waiting on or what you're waiting for the work that you have done and now you're waiting for stability what is helping you is the seven of swords how can progress be made the emperor the star card okay are you on your correct path? The star talks about exactly that, being on your correct path here. That's beautiful energy. Um, wish fulfillment in the star. You're getting what you want. Your ships are coming in here. You're just waiting. You're in the midst of, of waiting. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. There may be some quarrels. There may have been competition. Um, there may have even been... Um, inner conflict sometimes the fight ain't for no reason no no regard it doesn't you know there's no real foundation for the fighting or the arguing what's helping you is the seven of swords you being able to I heard pick up and move on for some of you this might be leaving moving leaving the situation moving away from getting in control of things this is how can progress be made being the be the emperor be stoic be righteous in what works best for everyone involved the entirety of the of the situation but getting control over the emperor maintains control that's what he is he or she is best at let's see if we can get some cards on it looks really good whatever you've done work for or work on I'll we'll put those back what is the nine of cups the fool okay so maybe you took a risk or you are taking a risk you're getting the opportunity to to start over and that's what it looks like with the seven of swords here then we have a fool is you're waiting for the opportunity to start over to get in control of this situation now it may be that you're waiting for money a payout you're waiting for the perfect opportunity we have the fool card with the nine of cups and the star this is yeah this is definitely starting over anew and then what just flew out of the deck is Seven of Swords again. This is um, having the plan, the plan of action, revising plans, having a plan of action here. Let's see what the Seven of Swords is about. Some of you are moving away from an Aquarius or something to do with an Aquarius person, Taurus, Aries. It could be anybody here. Or vice versa. Someone's doing this with the Queen of Cups. And then this came out in reverse. Three of Swords in reverse. It's as if some of you are trying to make plans to go elsewhere. To be elsewhere with someone else. You feel like your destiny is in another situation. So you're you're destined to devise a plan of action to get to the one that you love. This was a heartbreaking situation or you were in separation. But you're coming out of that.
The seven of swords and the emperor next to each other says that you need to make a plan of action to um, yeah, take control of this situation. What is the seven of swords? Four of cups. Take control of it. Um, understand what's being offered to you or vice versa. Or someone else needs to understand what's being offered to them. Don't rest in discontentment and boredom because you've just been there for so long. Know that you can have better. You don't have to have the three of cups. It looks like you've realized that. Yeah. This is the... Ten of Pentacles. This might be the boss lady. It's for some of my married or a couple Capricorn men, this is the woman you built a life with, but you but you have something else or someone else you want to offer love and devotion to. It looks like someone else. Does this turn out three of swords and I mean three of cups and ace of sword you tell somebody that you want to reconcile you be completely honest with them you cut out a, another party another situation so that you can reconcile with this other woman this this woman um, or other man could be cancer this other person that's in the background Some of you may be married to Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's problems in a marriage, there's imbalance. The wheel of fortune is here, turning for that. Yeah, you want to create stability elsewhere. You've done the heartbreak, and now you want to move on. You, you're resting up. You also need to get some rest. A lot of you have been going, going, going. Lots of fast-moving energy here. Because you're trying, some of you are trying to build up or save up for A trip, a journey, a makeover, something like that. I don't know. Some some of you are trying to save up or have money to do something else, or to move. Let's see what the butterfly oracle cards say. Overall, you have really good energy, um, Capricorn. Mm -hmm. You've done done the work. The cards say get some rest. You need to get some rest. Um, things are coming in and turning around for you. If some of you are leaving people, it looks like you're waiting for the opportunity to do so. Whatever that may entail for you. Leaving jobs. I mean, this is a general reading. Dietary change. Talks about, of course, you know, what you put in your body or what you don't put in your body. Um, veganism, vegetarianism. Talk about just the balance. The balance in the scales of your diet. You know if you're doing too much of one thing, it's not good for you. So you take that card how you take it. Relationship dynamic. Someone has entered, exited the relationship. Feelings have changed. Situations have changed. Um, emotions have heightened or lessened. The dynamic of the relationship has, has altered. It's completely changed here. Yeah. Then we have what just popped out, leaving, gracefully aging, hobbies, body changes, under the deck, self-care. 
So it looks like Capricorn with that Four of Swords, you really need to um, like get a makeover, get some rest, get a massage, do some self care. Do that one thing or those two things that you don't do for yourself often. Maybe it's going to go get your nails done, get your hair done, um, get a facial, whatever. But it looks like you really need to do some like physical self-care. Also, some of you need to work on self in regards to your inner self and how you feel about things and situations and past things and moving forward. And hobbies. Um, or highlight it maybe this will be a good outlet for you also talks about monetizing hobbies if you're really good at something somebody might pay money for it so you know there's confirmation on that body changes some of you are getting increased like awareness and spirituality and sometimes when that happens what I've learned is that your body changes you'll see like would not see but you'll feel in your body things change your back may ache your neck hurts you just get sick out of nowhere but then at the same time you're um experiencing like maybe really prolific or prophetic dreams or visions or whatever insight is coming to you but it's also shifting this physical body because it's spiritual so it's like the the two are trying to marry peacefully, but sometimes it don't happen peacefully, I'll tell you that. Um, let's get some butterfly, no, let's get some angel answers in here. So if you have questions, here are the angel answers. Some of you are leaving situations. We saw that in the cards. You're waiting for the opportunity to leave. Reconsider. So there's an answer for some of you if you are in indecision about something um, or you think you made your mind up reconsider I guess this is a general reading forgiveness communicate clearly recovery yeah lots of recovery and rest you guys aren't resting there's no rest oh what? There's no rest for the wicked. My Capricorns aren't wicked. Uh, wait. And it looks like that's what you're doing. A lot of waiting. Compromise. Alright, so Capricorn, these are your messages. I hope that they resonated with everyone who viewed the video. It looks like good things are coming in for you. Um, changes. Changes that you are ready for, you are planning for, you have made plans for. In the background, it looks good. Many blessings to you. Know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Um, make sure you book a personal reading. Um, I have a new spread. You'll probably see it come out for your sign uh, in the next few days. Um, it's called the How Does He um, How Does He View Me spread. So it's pretty good. Um, you can book that. Alright, take care guys. All of my information is below. Talk to you soon.